with Prophetess Jerusha. Good morning and God bless you. Hallelujah. You're welcome this morning to this wonderful session. This is the day the Lord has made and uh, we will rejoice and be glad in him. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in him. What a joy to appear before the Lord this morning in all gladness and joy. I mean, with all thankfulness of heart and of spirit because we laid down and the Lord woke us up. If this is your very first time joining us on this sessions of commanding your day on this prayer sessions, prophetic sessions and healing sessions, I want you to subscribe. I want you to like, I want you to share, I want you to touch notification bells so that every time that we are live, you're going to be connected. And to you who has already subscribed, God bless you all who have subscribed. I would encourage you to kindly share because the Bible says blessed is he who carries good news. You can make yourself a good news carrier as well as, as you know, as well by sharing this this link with as many people as you can because God is doing awesome things here and the testimonies are indeed awesome. The testimonies are indeed amazing. The testimonies are indeed outstanding. It's always a joy to appear before the Lord. The Bible says they grew from strength to strength. Each one of them that appeared before the Lord in Zion. Once more, the Bible says they grew from strength to strength, each one of them that appeared before the Lord in Zion. I'm certain in my heart that as we appear before the Lord this morning, we are growing from strength to strength, from beauty to beauty, from glory to glory, and our lives will never be the same again in the mighty Name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Every day is a gift from the Lord. And every day is an opportunity to change something. Every day is, I mean, in the program of the Lord is a divine orchestration for the birthing of a new page of your prophecy. What has the Lord said concerning your life? I want to say that today comes with all it takes to birth it. And today comes with all it takes for you to walk into it with joy, with excitement, and with all jubilation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, I'll be sharing the word of the Lord with us. I will be sharing the word of the Lord with us. The Bible says, have you commanded your day? Have you commanded your day? So with great joy, I'll be sharing with us the word of the Lord. The Bible says his word is sharper than a two-edged sword. And let every man be a liar. And let God's word be true. Kindly indicate your presence. Wherever you are, if you're joining in this morning, let me know that you're connected live and that we are together in the spirit. Amen. Amen. Our scripture I'm reading this morning is from Romans. Romans, the eighth chapter, and we're reading from verse 37. Once more, if you're just joining in, you're live with your favorite woman of God. This is Prophetess Jerusha, together with you on this amazing session. We're taking our scripture reading this morning from Romans chapter 8. What a scripture that has been in my spirit for two days now. And what a word that has been in my spirit for two days now and more. Let us read from Romans 8, 37. It says, yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor anything, any other thing created shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. I'm taking it again. 
Yet all in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Through him who loved us, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creator, created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Praise God. Amen. I want to thank God this morning for this word that is coming to us so timely. God is encouraging somebody this morning, letting you know that we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. My emphasis has been on those two words, more than conquerors, more than conquerors. You must understand there is a conqueror and then there is a more than conqueror. Of course, we know who is a conqueror. A conqueror is somebody who conquers battles. A conqueror is somebody, we can also use the word, it's also synonymous to, to victor. It's a victorious person. A conqueror is somebody that is victorious in the things that they do, triumphant. I mean, it's someone whose who's daily life, you know, is, is winning. Basically that, whose daily life is winning, winning every day, winning in the morning, winning in the evening, winning all the time, winning and winning and winning. That's who a conqueror is. Somebody that before he or she embarks on the battle, the, the victory is already known. I mean, conquerors go to battle already knowing the outcome of the battle and it's certainly victory. Conquerors go to battle, relax. Conquerors go to battle, certain conquerors go to battles. At least they know, they got it. In other words, they have the strategy, they have the help, they have the favor, they have the grace, they have all it takes to get the victory that they desire to get. They have all it takes to get the victory that they desire to get. But then the Bible doesn't say we are just conquerors. The Bible doesn't just say that we are conquerors. The Bible says that we are even more the Bible scripture says that we are even more than conquerors. Oh, this is interesting. That we are even more than conquerors. So a conqueror is somebody who is addicted to winning, who is addicted to being triumphant, who is addicted to, you know, victory, who everyone knows before they go to a play, to a battle they've already won. No, the Bible says we are even more than that. We are even more than that. That has been my emphasis. Every time, every time this word came up in my spirit, these two words have been my emphasis. More than conqueror. More than conqueror. So I'm not just a conqueror. You are not just a conqueror. But you are more, even more than a conqueror. Oh my God. You are even more than a conqueror. Now this is working knowledge and this is walking knowledge. If this will preoccupy your mind, if this will be part and parcel of you as you go around your activities today, I want to assure you that there is no door you will knock that will not open. One thing is being who you are. Another thing is walking daily with that consciousness, with that consciousness of who you really are. Scripture says this morning from Romans 8, 37, and going down, it says, we are more than conqueror. If you're reading the other verses, it tells you the kind of things that are happening around the world today. The Bible says, nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God. Nor death, nor peril, nor this, nor that. This tells you the things that you're likely to face as a conqueror. This tells you these are things that as a conqueror, you are going to face from time to time. But don't worry. Don't worry. Your capacity is that which supersedes God beyond your capacity is that which you know bypasses your capacity is that which subdues takes charge takes dominion takes i mean more than a conqueror more than a conqueror that's a prophetic word we're leaning on this morning let every man be a liar let god's word be true that is the prophetic word we're leaning on this morning and we're going to embrace a new day in triumph and victory you are more than conqueror that is the word god says you are are more than conqueror you are more than conqueror you are more than conqueror i'm activating this identity of yours this morning i'm reminding you i'm laying emphasis i'm letting you know that you are more really more ten thousand more more than a conqueror you're, in other words you're more than somebody who wins trophies every day you're more than somebody who wins trophies every month 
You're more than somebody who wins trophies every season. The Bible says, for we are more than conqueror. And so this is how we're stepping out today. We're stepping out in the light of this word. We're stepping out in the might of this word. And we're stepping out in the, you know, in the glory of this word that we are more than conqueror more than conqueror so you're not just winning you're winning with an a prime you're not just winning you're winning with 102 110 on 100 100 and 130 on, on, on 100. You're winning more. So who are you standing at the mirror every morning? Who are you standing at the mirror to face each day? One thing you must drum your chest and remind yourself is I am more than a conqueror. So it doesn't matter what the enemy will throw at you. If you read the next verse, verse 38 and 39, it speaks of, for I am persuaded that neither this, nor that, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor shall be able to separate me from the love of God. So a conqueror or a more than conqueror is somebody who has the capacity to overcome, to walk past this thought that whisper death, to walk past the thoughts that whisper that you, you know, there's something fighting you that is more than you. You A conqueror is somebody who has walked past, you know, who is seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus and far above principalities and useless powers. A conqueror is somebody that is so sure that no matter what is, has come, and is to come, they're certain that they're going to be victorious in it. I came this morning just to remind you that you're more than a conqueror. I came this morning just to remind you, just to remind you that you are more than a conqueror. And so you're stepping out today in a lot of victory and triumph. I am more than a conqueror. Now, for those of you at Zion Family who are joining us in a Wednesday, every Wednesday fast, I want to remind you that as you wait on the Lord today, your strength will be renewed. But as you go before the Lord, you're not going before the Lord as a beggar, as a miserable person. You're not going before the Lord as somebody who is who is weary and frustrated. You are entering even the presence of God today at the place of prayer with the mindset of I am more than a conqueror. Conquerors will go into the closet to remind the Lord of his promises, to remind of the Lord of the deal of the covenant, to bring forth a strong reason. I want to let you know that as you're going into the presence of God today, for those of you who are joining us in fasting and praying today, as you're going into the presence of the Lord today, you're going in with a lot of confidence and assurance that faithful is he who has begun a good work in your life. And that in this seven month, he is bringing it to completion. That faithful is he who has begun a good work in your life. And that in this seven month, he's finishing what he started. Don't forget God's word this morning. You are more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. I don't know what has been coming against you or you have been coming against something. You have been trying to overcome something. I'm speaking to you and you're hearing me in the comfort of your house, wherever you are. You have been trying to overcome something. As you begin this next half of day, to some people, it's already morning. To some people, it's still night. To some people, it's, I mean, it's, 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 this, you know, it's, it's midday. Whichever hour, I want you to be sure that this next hours that we have appeared before the Lord or we are appearing before the Lord, this few hours that just came across this video. I want you to know that the Lord says you are more than conquer. You're, you're gonna conquer, you're gonna conquer the cancer, you're gonna conquer the liver problem, you're gonna conquer the doctor's report. Oh yes, I was speaking to somebody yesterday. I have said, listen, sometimes a percentage of our of our breakthrough depends a lot on our choices and also depends a lot on our belief system. The Bible says, choose here this day. He says, I've given you life and death. Choose one, choose one, choose one. So there may be a death verdict around you, but you can choose life. And the Bible says, when we choose life, we live. When we choose life, one thing is, when we choose life, we live. Which means sometimes some people die early sometimes or maybe some people went early because they they, they you know they, they got to that point where their willpower was feeble sometimes the strategy of the devil is to feeble your willpower because he knows that if you stay willful you will be so in intentional about the right choice which is life now jesus speaking he says i have come that you may have life and life abundantly i don't know about you but as i'm speaking to you i choose life today 
because I am more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. I want you to make that same declaration. If you're listening to me right now, I am more than a conqueror. I don't know what you went to bed with. I don't know what you're waking up with. I don't know what you've been walking around with. But one thing that we are certain about, one thing we are certain about is that we have chosen life and life abundantly. So we are walking around today. We're not going to let any storm take that. We're not going to let any storm. Your, 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 your willpower contributes a lot to your miracles. Your willpower contributes a lot to how much you get per day in this journey of life. I insist your willpower, your determination, it also has something to do with how much you're ready to have. It is said that no lion leap, no lion share, which means for every lion leap, it's a lion share. I want you to wake up this morning. I want you to wake up this next few hours of the day. Shake up the dust. Shake up the dust. Shake up the dust. Shake Shake off the dust, shake off the dust, shout it out and say, I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. Jerusha, I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. Oh, Ramama Shanda. Sometimes when we appear before the Lord, he reminds us of his word. And some other times when we appear before the Lord, we remind him of his word. Romans 8, 37. Ye are more than conqueror. Ye are more than conqueror. Let me read it again. Yet in all these things, yet in all these things, yes, including that thing that is, 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 I mean, it's weighing you down that you cannot even pray, including, 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 including your bills, including your rent, including the mortgage, including, including everything, including the court case, including the family problem, including the burden that you carry now as we speak that you haven't even shared with anybody, including the problem that is so private and so personal to you. I was prophesying in church on Sunday and the Lord began to use me to speak to a woman and she's, I mean, when I began to speak, she was looking at me and at first I felt like oh maybe what I was saying was not in alignment. I didn't know that she was stunned. She was shocked. She was dazed. She was amazed. Why? Because this is an issue she's been with for 20 years of her life and she never shared it with anybody. She never shared it with anybody. As a matter of fact, when she met me for counseling after the service, she said, woman of God, this thing you were saying, nobody knows. I can assure you that just God and I know. I carried it for 20 years and God decided to visit her that particular uh, morning and in that particular service what am i saying you were watching me right now and the lord has sent me to you you were going through something that nobody really no not even your pastor nobody knows i mean nobody knows sometimes you wake up with it eating you up some other days you wake up with it feeling like you've overcome i came to assure you this morning that it is certain that your victory is certain in the word of god that we ayanda basika boshata that you are more than conqueror. Hear me? <clears throat> Hear me as I speak the word of the Lord. It doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter how long. She and she burst into tears. As a matter of fact, as I got talking, she started crying. She broke into tears and then she started crying. And after when she met me during counseling, she said, Man of God, now I know. And she said, I never really believed in all of this prophecy. I never really believed in, you know, all of this. Anyway, I know that God speaks, but I've never had this encounter where God begins to speak of a very deep thing, a very deep thing that I know that I've never told anybody in my life. She said, I've never had this and this is my very first time having this kind of encounter I want to let you know it doesn't matter how long that situation has been provided you're gonna be determined one thing she said that I like she said despite what I went through for 20 years I stayed here I stayed right in the presence of God and she said I trusted God each day she said every attempt she made to come out of the mess nothing nothing changed every time she attempted to you know to, to find solutions to whatever nothing changed nothing changed not until this Sunday when the Lord visited her 20 years attempting and trusting the Lord for a change and nothing happened and then in one service, in one service, sometimes it's just one encounter, sometimes it's just one meeting like this, sometimes it's just a few minutes connecting to this prayer online, sometimes it's just a 
few seconds, releasing your faith, maybe for a last time, maybe releasing your faith, I mean, just again to see if God can do it. And I came to let you know that our God is able. He says he's able to do exceedingly above, much more than we could think or imagine, according to the power that is at work within us. The power of God is at work within you. And even as I speak it this morning, I deplore the power of God in your spirit, in your mind, in your faculties. Casting down every imagination and every thought that exalts itself above the name of the Lord. I command those forces of discouragement to bow. I command those forces of depression to bow. I am engaging spiritual antidepressants. But the speaking of God's word, he says his word is spirit and his word is life. Lakaboshari bakanda rikanosakia mahai lekuda bayanti kanosa. Lei kadima shanda rika nina suka nima hei kade basuka ria mama ya lika dosharia babakani ya nona haya ekande masunde lehende ya ekando bashika baba wa reka dosha dia barakata ikadosa kina mahunda rekondo bakaina ruka basa inu mohundo God says as you tell you he will he works on the matter until you say it's over which means as long long as you are saying it's not yet over god is certainly working on the matter god is certainly working on the issue and he says this morning that you and more more than conqueror more than conquer you're conquering insults you're conquering misrepresentation you're conquering hatred you are conquering depression in all its forms. You are conquering rejection. You are conquering isolation. You are more than conqueror. You are more than conqueror. You are more than conqueror. With a heart a man believes and with a mouth confession is made unto salvation. If you believe the word of God this morning, I want you to shout it loud over that storm that keeps banging a bell on your mind. Say, I am more than conqueror. Karababa shaya babaya. Rababa boshama mamaya. And great man of God, Pastor Chris says, don't stop saying it 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 once more it's working knowledge it's working knowledge it's working knowledge and it's also working knowledge i am more than a conqueror it doesn't matter the night dream you had believe this word i jerusha am more than a conqueror you can call your name rose i am more than a conqueror what's i am more than a conqueror everyone watching you can loud it loud it say it loud i know you always knew it but you never saw it this way and you never said it like you knew it i wanted to say it convincingly i am more than a conqueror you can voice out the current storms of your life and say i'm winning i'm winning today i'm winning today i'm winning today i'm more than a conqueror i am more than a conqueror you can write it loud remind yourself this now is you speaking to yourself i am more than a conqueror i am boshaba. i conquer death i conquer untimely death i conquer i conquer affliction i am more than a conqueror I I conquer misery and, and pain. I conquer penury. I am more than a conqueror. I conquer poverty. I conquer debt. I conquer. I am more than a conqueror. Oh, rabababoshabaya. There is hope for a living dog than that of a dead lion. I am more than a conqueror. Open your mouth and say it loud. This situation is not going to choke me around today. This situation is not going to get the best of me today. I am more, more than a conqueror. I conquer the altars in my family. I conquer every strength. Kora Baba Boshanda. Baba says, surely they shall gather. Surely they gathered. But now I am speaking forth as a conqueror. That I am conquering all their powers. I am seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Far above principalities and useless powers. So I take charge over my day. I take dominion over my day. I am more than a conqueror. Kababa yada bashababa. Listen, sometimes when we go to God in prayer, it is not many things we are saying. It is one thing stemming from His word, coming from His word. We are reminded, I am more. Kababo shabada haya. 
Rabababa sharababa yakaba shantaya. Rabababa ba reke mama ma sokoria bababa. Riko bobo shekeria mama ma shanda mama ya. Right in the presence of God this morning, we are saying we are more than a conqueror, more than conquerors, conquering the ulcer, conquering, conquering, conquering the arthritis, conquering the high blood pressure, conquering the HIV, conquering all manner of affliction. We are more than conqueror as we step up today in the corporate world at the marketplace. We come all share baba yahaya, kabi baba, right in our abilities and potentials. It will be clear that we are more than conquerors. In the name of Jesus, we are conquering with the spirit of excellence. We are conquering, oh, with divine ideas. We are conquering with the wings of the supernatural. We are conquering on every side. Mashanda bayaha, rikara baba yakaya, rekonda bayatea, rekura baba yanda, rekara baba yanda basia, rekonda mahantaya, liakona mashiba baba. And by this word, we refuse to be discouraged by this word we refuse to be discouraged leada bashanda reko bobo sina makaya reko bobo shiga babaya so i prophesy to somebody this morning be thou strong and be of good courage leka masunda baba raba bashekeria baba for many and greater are they that is with us and he that than he that is with them raba babo shaba baba reko bobo shina maha for scripture says that even when they come in one way, they will flee in many ways. I declare that by the speaking of God's word, they are fleeing in many ways. As we step foot on the earth, we place a demand. As conquerors today, that whatever belongs to us is ours. Ours will not be given to another. Rama mama konde babaya that in the land of the living le kabusha baba we will eat of our, of our portion and we will be fat and we will lend to nations today we step out in grace le kadada baba za le kogade bara rekura baba rikabosaba rekere bebea rokoria babaka we step out in grace we step out in triumph for the steps of the righteous <laughs> For the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Barababayan, le kararara boboboria, rekura bababaria baba, rekonde breheke, and thus says the Lord, lima shanda baya. The path of the righteous is a shining light. Le rabakaini ni mahanda, the shines brighter, brighter unto the perfect day. Re mama kabahai kaka, my path is bright, glory. Your path is bright, bright. Rabababo shababa, as we step. Part today, let Baba, let there be light in every darkness. I declare and decree as you step out today, let there be light in every darkness. Mama, mama, and the light shone and darkness comprehended it not. Let a babe and a heart, Rekura Baba, Likana Namashia, Lekodo Bosia Dada, Rekoda Baya Talabaha. Lord, we step out in your grace today. Mm. Shana na na makandia, rakonde bebe anama, rekodo bosi baba ba. That every step today will command the victory of the Lord. That every step today will command victory. Rababa. That every step, every endeavor, raba will be accompanied by victory. Every attempt. Shalabakaya Baba. Even leopard steps will be amplified because we are more than conqueror. I say even leopard steps will be amplified because we are more than conqueror. Rabba Baba Shanda. So for each day we walk closer to the promise. Rare Baba Kanina Mahonde. Aramama Shanda Babaya. So today we walk closer to what you said. Le Mama Makandi Mama Shanda. Rekondo Bobo Sigadaya. That we are confident in this one thing. That scripture cannot be broken. So I cast down every imagination. I cast down every thought 
that exalt and serve above the name of the Lord and that bring every thought into captivity this morning by the word of the Lord, which is sharper than a two-edged sword, saying we are more than conquerors. So stepping out today, we're stepping out as victors. We're stepping out into marvelous help, the help of God. I declare over your life, may you see the help of God in everything. Maha, divine assistance, divine support, divine succor. I declare the help of Jehovah, the help of Jehovah over your business, over your family, the help of the Lord over that situation, the help of God on every side, the help of God. Embrace the help of God, the hand of God, the yada of Yeshua. Embrace God's hand today in the name of Jesus. Kaya babo shina mahaide. Oh, we embrace yet a new glory today. We will not forfeit today's glory because of yesterday's failures. We will not forego today's glory because of yesterday. We embrace the glory of God this morning. We embrace the glory of the Lord. La makai di di bakaya, that which sharpens countenance. Leka na masukai, rekuna na handia. Robo boria baba kai di debo, rakai di di bashika baba. The Bible says when Moses descended from the mountain, they couldn't behold his face of the glory. Ika maya kabia tahata, leku baba ria baba yakaya. Adi Clary, Baba Shaba. This is our mountain experience for each day. Lekamashika, Mama. And as we step out, your glory will bring us everything good. Your glory will protect our peace. Rakaboboria, Baba Shia. Rekondo Bosia, Mama Yaha. The countenance of the Lord shine on you. The countenance of the Lord shine on me. And bring us peace on every side. Kaya mama ya siana maya ha. Oh, hele baba yanda la siane mehea. Rekore bebe arababa kaini ni mashendea. Liando broko seria mama mahandi rababo sarabaya. Ye kariando bo subara kairi baba sandere makanda rababaya. Mere kere bo sorobo boboria mama shinde mahindi. Marubo bokira baba sandia mama maya. Rekoria babaria nana bo sokori mama maya. Nene ma shandi, shandi ma shaya, shele ma kaya ya, rekoria baboria dada hea, rekoria mama shende he, rate riende bobo sakaidi, makushakia na mahanda ya. Oh, thank you, Father, for we are more than conquerors. We are more than conqueror. We are more than conqueror. Thank you, Lord, for that positioning. Thank you for that placement this morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise for when we call you answer. We have this confidence that when we call you answer, blessed be your name. Thank you for everyone watching now. For everyone who's going to watch later, I give you glory because your anointing keeps flowing and the testimonies keep coming. Thank you, faithful God, for that which you have done. Thank you for that which you have done that our mouths cannot even tell. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for a new glory, for a new glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Ooh, amen and amen. I feel so glad in my heart. I feel so joyful in my heart to have shared with this word with us this morning because it has been in my spirit for two days. Just two words more than a conqueror, more than a conqueror. You're watching me this morning. Maybe you are sick, you're pressed, you're going through one thing or the other. I came to remind you once more that you are more than a conqueror and that today you will see the victory of God and that today you will see the glory of God in the land of the living in the name of Jesus. I speak the blessings of God on your day. I speak the favor of God on your day. I speak the beauty of God on your day. I declare that you're going forth in peace and you're coming back bearing precious sheaves. Let the 
doors that were locked open for you today in the name of Jesus, that which you are believing the Lord for. The Bible says, surely the expectations of the righteous will not be cut off. Surely the expectations of the righteous will not be cut off. If you enjoyed the session this morning, you can do what to share to somebody. It doesn't matter what I'm still, whether I'm still alive or not. The word of God is potent and heavy. Always it carries the same impact and even more all the time. You can kindly share to somebody you can kindly share the link with somebody and tell that person what god is doing here i'm so happy to be before the lord i'm so happy to be before the lord oh yes vivian ayuk writes it everywhere that is the prophetic word for us this morning god says we are more than conqueror god says we are more than conqueror and for those who joined us a little late read from Romans 8, 37, you can read down to the next verse and then the next one. And then you was going to see the things that, the different things that you will go through or you've gone through yet. The Bible says in all this, we should know and be certain that we are more than conquer. We're stepping out in vigor, we're stepping out in power, we're stepping out in this magnitude. For so there is nothing we will not be able to overcome today. Remember, some people went to spy the land and they came and said there were giants at the land. And then another people, another person said, we are well able to possess the land. We're going to step out today with a possessor's mentality. We're stepping out today with a possessor's mentality that we are more than conqueror. Not just verbally in our actions and our decisions, in the places we access, in the people we talk to, we are certain that we are more than conquer. Write it out loud or shout it out loud. I am more than a conqueror. It doesn't matter what you hear. It doesn't matter what the doctor said. Remember, friend, it doesn't matter what the doctor said and what the doctors are saying. You are more then conquer it. Once more, for those of you at Zion family or wherever you want to join us in our weekly fast, in our weekly fast, you can do that. Today's Wednesday. You can do that in our weekly fast. And as you go before the Lord today, you're going to be reminding God of every situation of your life. And you're saying, I am more than a conqueror. For they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not faint. I want you to believe that today, that as we wait on the Lord, he's renewing us strength we are soaring on eagle's wings because the seventh month god is sending us marvelous help i love you and i'll be with us soon and again and again shalom do have a blessed day do have a lovely day do have an amazing day and see you again god bless you love you and amen